Are you rolling? Is this rolling? Okay, good. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Owen Burdett. Oh, the only show in history that has to be repeated twice. We are making Shake and Bake, which we have done twice already. I'm Owen Bur Burdett, and we've done this quite a few times because we haven't measured the breadcrumbs. Um, we've already proven there's about four cups, which is about the amount you need, so I'm just going to pour this all in here. Saves time. Is there anything there? Yep, I think it's good. We will also add in one third a cup of a cup of pure vegetable oil. That's important. Pure. Is it? I don't know. So, here's a helpful hint. And dry things must be measured with this kind of measuring spoon, and wet things must be measured with this kind of spoon. It has the little markings here. This. I got it. Got it. And uh, we got, nope, that's in the half the quarters. This will be in the third, almost, almost, got it. And then we pour this in. Got it. We will also add in one tablespoon, aka one of these. A helpful way to help is that a table is bigger than a teacup. So a tablespoon is bigger than a teaspoon. Why am I having so much trouble with this? Got it. Place it into the thing. OCD tendencies. Got it. We will also add one tablespoon of paprika for the spice. Which, um, do I do the shaking thing or the spoon thing? I'm, I'm just gonna do the, your nodding doesn't help. I can't tell what you're nodding to. If you hear any exasperated breathing behind you, that is my mom who is recording. Why is this not coming out? Got it? Nope. No, I don't. Um, I know there's... Um, whoa! <laughs> I'm good. Oh, that explains it. That was a clump. Okay, um, is that... I'm just going to add a bit more. Dang it. Dang it. I, we're counting that as a tablespoon. And another tablespoon of black pepper. Not yellow pepper, not green pepper, or even white pepper. Black pepper. This is important. Hopefully this won't be like the paprika. And we're off to a great start. And, oh, that went much smoothly. Next, we have one half of a teaspoon, aka the green one, of garlic powder. Oh, Kai is also there. My little brother. Avery, my little sister, would be laughing too, but she is currently distracted and now she's looking at me. Oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, dang it. A um, little more for the spice. <laughs> <laughs> and now my cooking routine just turned into a comedy show. I find this. I can be funny. Knock, knock. Who's yeah. there? Orange. Orange who? Orange are glad I'm awesome. Or clumsy. One fourth of a cup. Fourth of a teaspoon of onion oh powder. God. And pinch. <laughs> don't know how much that qualifies as. I'm just going to qualify it as one shake of leaf oregano. Shake. And one pinch of basil leaves. Oh, got it. Then you zip it up. You Ziploc kids. This is not paid. Shake it. I 
time now for a fade out. Oh. And fade in. Now, as you can see, the table has magically changed thanks to the wonders of cutting in and out. We now have these pork chops, which are similar to the photo down there. We also have a bowl of water, about, I don't know, half, a third, a fourth, it doesn't matter. The shake we made earlier, and a pan lined with tin foil. We also have the oven going on right behind me. And you'll want to bake these at 40 degrees, 400, not 40. 40, that's like room temperature. Leave it right here for air for 20 minutes. No, 400 degrees in the oven for 20 minutes. You got it? Yeah. That yes was from my sister, Avery. Yeah. So I let's put them in water. <laughs> and why did I not? Open this. On your teddy meat. <laughs> Just a helpful hint to my sister Avery if she keeps talking, thinking we will have to limit her as part of our part of our live audience. <laughs> Put it on the pan. And you do it again. Water. Seasoning. Let it drip out. And dang it! Don't worry. Thanks to the magic of cheap EV, this will probably go away soon. gender with this because if you're not you have just seen what happens you make a mess on your lap if you're bored while I'm doing this you can read a pamphlet on salmonella poisoning or you can listen to my sister Avery in the background which she is technically not supposed to do Two more, then we'll get to the next important step. my hands first, which I was going to do before it, but use the soap. Oh, black cherry merlot, this is nice. <laughs> Push this up. 
up a bit more. Take this. in there. Fade out. know you were there. I'm just plating the final, you know, piece with edamame and mac and cheese made totally in the background because the purpose of this episode was as egg and bake chicken, pork, not mac and cheese and edamame. That will be a different episode if I make more, which I'm hoping I will, but here. My final piece.